Hi, I'm Jeremy McDonald-Evoy, reporter for AZ Central and Arizona Republic. Today, we're going to be talking about aircraft safety. So many people wonder what kind of reports aircraft have to take or do in order to ensure that they're safe. Now, the FAA requires that all aircraft undergo a airworthiness certification, which means that they have to report certain parameters to the FAA, like you know when they've done certain maintenance, when they've added certain components to the aircraft, and if they've been tested. And they have to get signed off on that airworthiness before that aircraft can actually go into the air. Airworthiness certifications are a public record. Unfortunately, these records you have to request. They're not readily, readily available online for you to search or find. Uh, they have to be requested through the FAA through a public records process, which is relatively simple. You go online with the tail number. You also have to have the serial number for the plane, which you can find on the FAA's website. And then you take that, enter it into their form, pay $10, and in a week you get a CD with these uh, safety reports and information on the aircraft's airworthiness. Now, flying is a scary thought. You're putting a lot of trust in the aircraft and the pilot when you get onto one of those and you go around 5,000, 10,000, whatever thousand feet in the air. Now, the everyday person probably shouldn't be too worried about needing to check reports or checking the airworthiness or safety of an aircraft before they go on a flight, say, you know, across country, even across the ocean, because most aircraft have to go under pretty strict airworthiness registration and certification um, guidelines in order to even be in the air. And of According to FAA data, every um, million flights, there's about less than one uh, accident per year. And there was about 15 million flights over the U.S. in 2016. So if you think about that, that's a very small percentage of those flights ever had any sort of an accident or issue. And the number of fatalities is pretty low as well. So the everyday person, don't need to worry too much.